He's going to London. 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 I'll be staying at 23 Piss Off Avenue, London, W. It's a Sin shows what it really means to live your life to the fullest. How excited are you about season two? The emotions are running high whilst we're waiting for the next chapter of the series. Tension is almost unbearable. If you're as thrilled about it as we are, make sure you stick around today because we're going to be talking about It's a Sin season two, return date, rumors, and cast. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos we post. So here's our little secrets we'd like to share with you, fellow fans, about the possible return date, hot gossip, and the cast we can expect. Does living in the shadow of death have to mean constant torment? Not for the beautiful series heroes. It's a Sin is a story that takes you on a real emotional roller coaster through the entire spectrum you can experience. What's even better about it is that all of them are sincere. In this video, we'll discuss It's a Sin and everything we know about Season 2. It's a Sin takes an intimate look at the lives of a group of friends living in London from 1981 to 1991. Set against the HIV AIDS crisis in the UK, a group of gay men and their friends are determined to live life to the fullest despite the threat. The British television series premiered in January 2021 in the UK. The show has received critical acclaim for its performances, writing, and depiction of AIDS. It was also very well received by the viewers and became the most binge-watched show on Channel 4's on-demand streaming service, All 4. The fans must be looking forward to hearing about the second season, but the question is, will there be a second season? Keep watching to find out. First of all, the cast is excellent. We've got Ollie Alexander as Richie, Omari Douglas as Roscoe, and Callum Scott Howells as Colin. They're teenage gay men taking their first steps into the adult world. At the same time, their lives are overcast by the spread of the AIDS epidemic. The disease remained incomprehensible for many. The show evoked a lot of empathy as we stood by the young people's sides, having to endure their trials and tribulations with them. Everyone was pulling their hair out, asking how they could cope. Such a question might suggest that the story behind it is a cumbersome thing. Indeed, during the screening of the miniseries, it's sometimes hard to control your emotions. The problem, however, is that their emotions of very different kinds, from sincere joy, through powerless rage, to paralyzing despair. And all this mixed together in such a colorful and dynamic fictional cauldron. It makes it hard to resist being swept off your feet, whether for good or bad. Next up is all the love the fans expressed for the miniseries. So we know that It's a Sin came out as a five-episode production on Channel 4, and it stole hearts of the 80s kids and more. Obviously, we're hinting here at the reference to Pet Shop Boys hit. Judging by the show's success, the viewers are craving season two. Can a miniseries evolve? It's not a precedent that high popularity equals getting another shot at the series. There might be a continuation considering how much love and admiration there have been for the story and delivery. When you learn that it's actually Russell T. Davies as the writer and producer, you get the aha moment. Thanks to him, we can relish pieces like Queer as Folk, A Very English Scandal, or Year and Years. He made his mark and proved to be highly creative to bring extreme emotions together in style. He mastered creating a spectacular and engaging narrative without depriving his stories and heroes of their soul. It's a Sin is another example of this, making it all the blunter when we know that Davies based this story on his own experiences of youth. Is this enough for season two to emerge? It might illustrate an example of the journey the gay population had to endure to get to where we are now. Don't you think that the result is a story that is both a tribute to the lost generation of young people and praise for their courage and perseverance, as well as a clear warning, because allusions to today's reality cannot be overlooked here. Above all, the series is an affirmation of life. Live your life to the fullest at any cost, and regardless regardless of circumstances, but not without consideration. Next up, we want to talk about how the narrative arc bodes for future seasons and when we could potentially anticipate season two. The show was billed by Channel 4 as a standalone series, so concerning the possibility of a second season, well, it's precisely that, a possibility. There's no affirmative news about whether or not the series will be renewed. However, that doesn't mean the show can't go on. Do you also want to shout, the show must go on? Some argue that the first series finished filming in 2019 and arrived in early 2021, so we might have to wait until 2023 for more action. We need to agree that the show wraps up the narrative arcs for all the characters in the final episode. The fifth and final episode takes us to November 1991, where Richie's condition is exacerbating day by day since he was diagnosed with lymphoma. However, he can't let go of his dreams of getting back on the stage and decides that he wants to undergo chemotherapy. Richie's family displayed aversion and lack of understanding of his sexuality, culminating with his mother blaming Jill and her circle of friends for what had happened to him. Finally, 
Jill gives Richie's mother a piece of her mind, which makes her realize that she should have been more accepting of her son. Who's going to be in season two? Do you remember the ending? Unfortunately, Richie dies, and Jill is distraught, knowing that he died alone and she could not be there with him in his final moments. After his death, Roscoe and Jill return to London. She goes to the hospital to support a man dying of AIDS while Roscoe visits his family. The season finale ends with a flashback sequence before the AIDS pandemic cast its shadow over their lives. They're seen having fun as Richie puts up a performance for them in a park. Will the rest of the cast remain a part of the show? We'll talk about that in a moment. For now, let's stick to the main thread. What storyline will highlight It's a Sin Season 2? The series themes are critical. Just consider how many lives have been lost to AIDS due to a lack of awareness and stigma. We've got to deal with the deaths of two of the show's main characters, Richie and Colin. What names will be introduced in place of late friends we lost to AIDS? The next chapter could address and explore the aftermath of their death and the impact of their loss on Jill, Roscoe, and Ash. Could the story expand further to envelop the ordeal of Roscoe's return to his family home? Yes, the family he had been estranged from at the beginning of the series due to his sexuality. The rumor has it that we could learn more about Ash. What about that guy in the background? Although Richie's ex, Ash, is part of the Pink Palace 5, we never really get to know him. Was he hiding a devastating secret that could be revealed in the next portion? A secret that is so deep and horrifying that it deserves a whole sparkly and shiny season to itself? We learned what it looks like in practice for people with seemingly disparate lives, coming from different backgrounds and having different goals in life, to find a thread of understanding. They get to know each other better and rent a flat together, not without reason, the Pink Palace. We get to observe their fate throughout the decade, starting in 19 1981, when they all ended up in London under slightly different circumstances. Observing their numerous love conquests, professional successes and failures, and personal problems in the first series is pure pleasure, especially since there's chemistry between the young performers. They perfectly convey the passion of their characters with little or no previous acting experience. Would this alone suffice to carry on with the story? It's a Sin shows the terrible effects of the AIDS epidemic on society. Back then, it was a mysterious gay disease, the existence of which was first denied, then carefully concealed and swept under the rug and for a long time wholly misunderstood, with no idea how it spread or how to deal with the infected. When it finally breaks into the lives of our heroes, you know that nothing will ever be the same again based on real-life events of the executive producer. Wow. This project is very close to his heart as it borrows heavily from Davy's own experiences. The series also features characters that are modeled after a few of his friends. He shared that many of his friends' families were in denial of their children's sexuality, which put them at risk because they could not openly ask for help when they needed it most. Davies felt that the story was an important one that had to be told because he finally felt like he was ready and the memories have started to fade. Will the continuation of the series pick up from this? It sounds plausible. Well, Watching the epidemic develop and turning the noisy dancing clubs into empty hospital corridors, it's not difficult to associate with the present day, but these are only an addition. People who were affected by the tragedy are the highlight here. Davies, together with director Peter Hoare, didn't taunt the viewers with excessive suffering, but they also did not spare them. They find a way for the human drama to become real here, moving either with the stories of the main characters or even the characters from the background, whom we get to know only to a certain extent. Still, we experience their fates in depth anyway. They're not afraid to hit with emotional blows at surprising moments, sometimes using powerful contrast to check the viewer's reactions. Suffice it to say, it's worth keeping handkerchiefs on hand, as they can definitely come in handy. Still, we won't be surprised if you're too shocked to use them during your most difficult moments. By taking this all into consideration, you can't help but wonder what It's a Sin Season 2 will be about. What actors do you think would suit this season? Who would you like to see featured? Let us know in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, check out some other videos whilst you're here, and we'll see you next time on the channel.